The UN's nuclear watchdog says that contaminated water leaking from Japan's Fukushima nuclear plant is still, quote, a challenging issue. The International Atomic Energy Agency is reviewing work to decommission the plant, which was damaged in an earthquake and tsunami in 2011. Energy company TEPCO was criticized for its handling of radioactive water leaks into the Pacific Ocean. Operators of a nuclear plant in central Japan are another step closer to restarting two reactors. They've been given a green light by the country's nuclear regulator. The plant is the second to meet the new government requirements set after the Fukushima Daiichi disaster. Officials with the Nuclear Regulation Authority unanimously decided safety measures at Takahama's number three and number four reactors meet the requirements. The plant's operator, Kansai Electric Power Company, is aiming to bring the reactors back online in November. They need to have equipment designs authorized and win the approval of local governments. They follow Sendai plant in southwestern Japan in getting a green light to restart. Operators are looking for consent from Fukui Prefecture and Takahama Town, which hosts the plant. But some local governments demand approval from all municipalities within the plant's 30-kilometer zone. Municipalities in Fukui's neighboring prefectures of Kyoto and Shiga fall in that zone. They're obliged to draw up disaster preparedness plans. And they're seeking a new accord with Kansai Electric. Well, Japan's exports of farm and fishery products hit a record high last year. That was thanks to the weaker yen and uh, the growing popularity as well of Japanese cuisine around the world. Agriculture ministry officials say the exports of farm, forestry and marine products in 2014 topped the 600 billion yen mark for the first time since statistics on this began in 1955. The figure was nearly $5.2 billion. That was up more than 10 percent in yen terms from the previous record set in 2013. The officials also attribute the rise to an easing of import restrictions by other countries. The measures were adopted after the 2011 nuclear disaster. Now, by product, beef and rice exports both soared around 40 percent. By destination, Hong Kong was the largest importer, followed by the U.S. and Taiwan. We hope to reach our export target sooner than planned. The public and private sectors will continue to collaborate to promote Japanese products in the EU, the U.S. and elsewhere. Government officials are working to expand farm and fishery exports as part of their growth strategy. They've set a target of 1 trillion yen, roughly $8.4 billion a year, by the year 2020. The festival has been held in Fukushima City to pray for a good harvest. The annual ritual saw people carry a massive straw sandal through the streets of their neighborhood. The festival has been held annually for more than 300 years. About 100 people took turns carrying the two-ton sandal, which took about two weeks to make. They paraded around a mountain in the city before offering the sandal to a shrine. About 70 elementary students followed the procession, carrying smaller versions of the sandal. It was heavy, but fun. The festival has a long history. We're carrying on a tradition handed down from our elders. This is actually the third time I've taken part. 